Hi everybody. Today we're going to be talking about another resource that you can find online to learn German for free. Today we're talking about Leo.org, which is a dictionary and a little bit more stuff on there. Leo offers quite a few random things that they have going on on their website. You can notice first thing first, whenever you get to their website, you'll notice that they have a Wörterbuch Angebot, which is their list of dictionaries that they have. They have German to English, Deutsch and English, uh, Deutsch and Französisch, German and French, Deutsch und Spanish, uh, German and Spanish, German and Italian. Italian, Chinese, Russian, Portuguese, Polish. They have a pretty good list there for uh, online dictionaries. Uh, so if you go into one of their dictionaries, and we chose the English to German because that's what uh, my base is here, um, would you search for a word and it comes up? And if you search for a verb, it'll tell you if that verb is irregular. It'll give you the uh, terms that it's irregular. So it'll give you in parentheses, um, for instance, for gehen. Uh, it comes up and gives you, off to the right-hand side, ging und gegangen. Um, and then you can also play the audio for it, so it'll actually say it out loud for you so that you can hear it. Gehen. And uh, it'll also give you a chart so you can find it in all of the tenses and all of the cases and all of the moods that you would ever need. It gives you a nice little conjugation chart for each one of these. Um, and it's just a fantastic way to see how they're actually used in various forms. Uh, another thing that they show you here is that they have uh, not just nouns, but verbs and phrases and example sentences and things that are similar to this and things that you might have meant to have searched for. And then also uh, they have a forum down here and in the forum you can see that they have discussions about like little phrases that you may have found online and you're not real sure what it means and you can ask the community on here and it will uh, you know let these people answer your questions and they're usually pretty good about getting back to you actually uh, their community is actually pretty active and uh, they seem to really know what they're doing and I haven't come across a thing that I'm looking for that they haven't already answered the question somewhere else in the forum so uh, anytime that I'm looking for a phrase they come up with it pretty easily. The other thing is that it does tell you the genders of nouns. If you uh, search for a noun, it'll give you the gender of the noun and uh, all of that. If you push the play button for the uh, the noun, it'll also tell you that, you know, it's daddy or das in front of it and then the noun, so it's not just that. It does also give you the plural form, so if you search for a, uh, a noun, it'll give you off to the side pl and then a colon and uh, then you'll have the plural version of the thing. And rather than just doing like a lot of dictionaries will do and have a little comma and then the, uh, the plural ending or whatever on the end of it, this one actually will tell you what exactly is the plural. So for instance, I search for Tia, which is an animal, and uh, off to the side it says die Tiere, rather than just saying E, which uh, isn't really all that handy for those of you who are just now starting out. They do have a few other features in here that uh, are kind of worth signing in um, until I actually got into what exactly they offer here. So they have a, uh, a trainer on here, which you can make your own flashcards and uh, pick words out of the dictionary and hit the little save button, and then it'll put them into a, uh, a little flashcard app that they have on here. But to be honest, their flashcard app is kind of clunky. It doesn't exactly work the way that I would expect it to work, and it just seems like they didn't put as much effort effort into it as they probably should have. Um, it just doesn't work. So long story short, I don't actually suggest using their flashcard app, even though it is a great idea to have a flashcard app built into a dictionary for learning a foreign language. It is a great idea, it's just not executed very well. Um, so I can't really suggest using that. They have a uh, English language test on here, but they don't have a German test on here. So I kind of thought that was kind of odd, but um, you know, it is a German company, so they're not really necessarily looking for the clientele that would need a uh, German exam. Also, once you sign into an account, they also do give you the option to go into the forum and you can go in and ask your own questions if you need to find a phrase that you don't already have on the answers. I've never actually had to use my account because I always just find the answers based on somebody else's question in the forum, so uh, I never actually had to ask my own question, but they uh, they seem to be pretty active in there. Other random things that they have, if you go back to their start page here, we have links zu Informationen und unterhaltsamen Angeboten, so links to uh, just kind of entertaining things that you can find around, so uh, we have IT a, a help, and so we have eating and drinking and um, sports and all kinds of other wonderful things. So you can click on these links and for instance under the eating and drinking uh, it comes up with like cooking recipes and if you want to cook as a vegetarian you can cook that way. We've got some baking and drinks and all kinds of other stuff on here. Uh, but just a pretty good list of 
topics that they've covered and they've got little links for the, you can find things. So if you're a teacher and you're looking for ways to kind of integrate different things into your language learning courses, you might look at uh, Leo's links off the side here that uh, may actually help you out quite a bit. Uh, the links also over here, we have links to things in Munich and uh, around the surrounding area. So you can go to the theaters and you can see here's the artichoke film magazine and uh, you can check out their links based on uh, you know various topics around Munich and then of course we also have Leo's cocktail bar which uh, will teach you how to make cocktails uh, and other mixed drinks so you can make your own uh, suggestions over here for the drink vorschlagen uh, or you can have here the uh, alphabetic list of uh, drinks that they've already made and you can find out how to make those drinks in German and uh, that might be entertaining for some people. But other than that, Leo is not necessarily a great site for anything other than looking up words and all of that. Um, so it's a great dictionary. It finds the words that you need. It gives you great examples. It shows you if they're irregular. They give you charts for conjugation. They tell you the right genders of nouns. They also are uh, a very great resource for all kinds of like, just informational, like, I don't know what this phrase could be. Maybe I can look up that phrase. You can find that in the forum. It's great for that kind of stuff. It's not great for things like actually using their flashcard app. Their flashcard app is, you know, clunky and weird and doesn't quite work right. But overall, if I were to just rate the dictionary all by itself, it's got a lot of great features. I would probably give that like a 9 or a 10. I love their website as far as the actual dictionary part of it. The rest of it, meh. I don't know, maybe like a five. I don't really like it. The rest of the website isn't all that useful to me. Uh, the forum is great, so you know that helps them out quite a bit, but everything else just doesn't work, and so I'm not really impressed there. But if you're looking for a great dictionary app, this is a great one. They also do have an Android and a uh, iPhone app, and their app is actually one of the better ones for online dictionaries because it f it's formatted properly, it looks great, and it finds the things that you want in the exact same way that you would expect them to. It's basically the same thing as their website, except smaller and more compact so that it fits onto your phone. Uh, so their app is actually pretty good. Um, I actually use this one quite a bit, especially if I'm in class and somebody says, you know, hey, what's the word for that thing that's whatever, and then I don't know because it's some random word that I never use. I'll look it up on my phone because it's just easier to use the Leo app than it is to use uh, the internet over by my computer if I'm wandering around the room helping students writing out sentences and stuff like that. Anyway, if you haven't checked out Leo, go ahead and check that out, and if you uh, like this kind of video, go ahead and click on that subscribe button and see some more of me. Thanks for watching. Bye now.